children and students today i have discussed about the types of selection statement today i am going to discuss types of looping statement today that i have discussed i have written the program what is looping statement and how it is working again briefly again briefly i am going to tell you looping looping statement it is a control flow statement it is a control flow statement that executes the same set of statement again and again multiple times as long as the given condition is true what it mean it mean that set of statement like suppose you have your a statement sir this statement will be executed five times because of looping statement because of looping statement so that is correct there are three types of looping statement for next loop while wait loop and do loop what is for next loop student for next loop and while wait loop do loop all the loops are same all the loops are used to execute the same set of statement again and again multiple times as long as given condition is true so only way of writing is different for loop ko likhne ka tarika alag sa while loop ko likhne ka tarika alag sa do loop ko likhne ka tarika alag sa to working principles are same so that let us see the syntax of for next loop for counter for counter equal to start to stop and after that stick increment here at the bottom of that statement blocks are there the statement blocks are there and after that next counter means when you are going to use the for next statement for next loop on the basis of that syntax you have to write the for next statement when you are writing the program one very small program i have written cls let a equal to 5 for i equal to 1 to 5 student this this what let a equal to 5 what is a a is a variable what is equal to assignment operator and what is 5 it is a numeric constant integer constant so student yahan for i equal to 1 yahan dhyan dilo us a lai hum variable ban jo tar i lai variable ban na sakte na i is i is known as counter i is known as counter the counter here counter is i counter is i it means the variable it means the variable used with the looping statement it is known as counter so here i is counter i equal to 1 1 is the starting value 2 is a clause and 5 is the last value all together all together this is know the condition of looping statement it means 1 less than 5 Condition will cheat here. One less than five. This condition is true. And when the condition is true, it comes in the body of looping statement. Print the statement executed in the output window. It will display how the statement is. In the same way, next i, next i ko matlab huncha increase i by one so that here i equal to i plus one. The i to value any condition, the value of i is one. The one plus one equal to two. Means now the value of i becomes two. Now it is not one. After that, what is the work of next i statement? In send the cursor to the condition part to reach the condition. So that is to say, i i becomes two now. Two less than five. Yes, condition is true. Again it comes. Again the same print statement executed. Hello student. This is very simple. Hello student. Second time, in the same student, i equal to i plus one. The value of i is two. The two plus one equal to three. Now the value of i becomes three. Again, it goes to check condition. Our i to value three sir. The three less than five. Yes, condition is true. Again comes. Again, print statement executed. Again, it will display. Hello students. In the same way. Next i i equal to i plus one that is three plus one equal to four. Four again condition will true again perform the same task again the condition again the value of i becomes five again condition is true again fifth time it will stay. When the value of i becomes six the condition is false then the fourth to next known statement is executed it comes down in the statement executed that is stop and terminate the program. 
means this for loop this for loop what it is doing it is executing the same print statement five times because of because of the concept of looping statement property of looping statement student i am going to here i am going to write the syntax of while when loop syntax of while when loop i told you for loop while loop do loops all are same only the way of writing is different now the syntax of while when loop let us see now condition statement blocks when अब यहाँ कंपेरिजन गर्मोस वाइल्ड मैन को हेल्प ले वी आर गोइंग टू राइट द सेम फॉर गेम दैट विल वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड हियर स्टूडेंट एग्जांपल दैट विल वेरी इजी टू अंडरस्टैंड सीएमएस हियर लेट ए इक्वल टू फाइव अब यहाँ लेट आई इक्वल टू वन वाइल्ड आई लेस देन इक्वल टू फाइव प्रिंट Hello students. Now we have done the notes. Let i equal to i plus one. When do the comparison of both programs? Student, here in the case of for next loop, two cloud, two cloud is used to identify the condition of looping statement. But in the case of while when loop, relational operator, relational operators are used to identify the condition of looping statement. That is the difference. Here, student. Here, I equal to I plus one. I am going to explain the program that will be very easy to understand. Here, student. I same thing. A is the variable. The variable is five. Here, I is the counter because I is used with the looping statement. Here, now next statement is while statement. Why I less than equal to five? The value of I is one less than equal to five. Yes, condition is true. So, the double condition to answer it comes in the body of while when loop. In the body of while when loop, print statement is executed. The print statement यहाँ लिखे को तो हर वर्ष print in the output window it will display. हर वर्ष print. अब ध्यान दें ना उस, अब ध्यान दें ना उस सपोज एक्चुअल को लागे इसलिए delete कर दें चुके, एक्चुअल को लागे, just a moment. अब वह wait statement, the wait statement is used to send the cursor to the condition part to recheck the condition. अब I के value one zero तो one एक था. I to value one zero तो one एक था. Here you check it, son. One less than five. Yes, condition is true. The very print statement is equal to one. Very same thing it will display. How much to write? Very print statement is equal to one. It goes I to value one eight, sir. What have you seen? Just the here next I statement increases the I by one by default. This to when the statement gardena. This to when the statement gardena. How many I? We have we have two write a statement to increase the counter. So that I have written earlier, let i equal to i plus one. Our hermos first time i query one thio, the print statement display the result in the output window. Second time ma kisa i equal to i plus one. The i query one sir, the yahan ki version one plus one equal to two. Our i to value two value. Our ki value i to value two. When the statement ki version it send the cursor to the condition part to be check the condition. I i becomes two now. The two less than five. Yes, condition is true. Again comes again the print statement executed. Hello students, second time. Hello students, second time. Now third statement let i equal to i plus one. The value of i is two. The two plus one equal to three. Now again the value of i becomes three. Print statement send the cursor to condition to reject the condition. Here i i becomes three now. The three less than five. Yes, condition is true. But when when the condition is true, it comes in the body of while when statement. Print statement executed. Is my little bit of hard work for it. Same thing it will display hard work for it. Like that, I becomes now four. Again, condition is true. Again it comes. Again now fourth time. Again fifth time. When the value of I becomes now six. The condition of why the statement is false, and when the condition is false, why the event is not only for the statement executed, good enough. It comes down in the statement executed. That is the stop and terminate the program.
What have you seen? What the differences you have counted? Yeah, four kokesma, two clauses used to write the condition. The five kokesma, relational operators are used to identify the condition. What other differences you have counted? Other difference is here next ima, it increases the counter variable itself by one. The while case must to Budina, you have to increase or decrease the counter variable to control the condition of looping statement. So that I have written i equal to i plus 1. The i very one to you, the your 2 by, the 3 by, the 4 by, the 5 by, when it becomes 6, the condition of looping statement is false and the execution of looping is stop terminated. So you have to understand the difference of looping statement. I told you the way of execution is saying working principles are saying way of writing is different. In the same instrument, in the same instrument, third loop is do. R loop, R loop, while loop, and do loop. Do loop is also the control flow statement that executes the same set of statement again and again. But how it is working? Let us see now. Now, very small example I am going to write here, suppose CNS, let i equal to 1, here writing do, same example I am going to write, print, hello students, of her most, let i equal to i plus 1. Now, looping a statement, loop y i less than equal to 5 and then in, what have you seen? In the case of for loop, in the case of while loop, condition is written in the up of the looping statement, but in the case of do loop, condition is written down of the looping statement. So that, so that it is also counted, so that it is counted, do loop is the post tested looping statement. Post tested looping statement को मतलब हो जा यो condition पहुँची चाहिए कर जा पहले चाहिए कर देना तो in the case of for loop in the case of while loop condition is checked first time at the time first it will check a condition and when the condition is true it comes in the body of looping statement and it executes the statements whatever is there but in the case of do loop in the case of do loop condition is written at last of the looping statement so that it is known as post-tested looping statement. The way of execution. What are the works? What are the works are performed by the for next statement? What are the works are performed by the while end statement? Same work, same work is performed by the do loop statement. Only the difference condition is written bottom of the looping statement. That is the difference. Correct student? I hope you have understood it. Today, I am going to write very small, small programs to make it clear the concept of looping statement. Now, question right on. Very simple questions I am going to discuss today. Write a cubistic program. Write a cubistic program to take a number and display the table of that number up to the 10th level. Take a number and display the table of that number up to the 10th level. Now students, here see now, I am going to write this program, CLS. Here form input statement first we have to write. Input give a number, suppose it is in A. For loop for i equal to 1 to 10. Let r equal to a into i. Print a statement. 
string a star now i r here next i and all sample program so it is very simple program now let us see how it is working what is the working principle of this program the student i told you this program we have written this program is written in the edit window of qbc what window edit window of qbc you know very well when the program is executed when the program is executed when you press the f5 key and when the f5 key is pressed the program statement started to execute from top to bottom cls statement i told you very evening cls statement ko kaam huncha ki output window ma agadi dekhi program ko kunai result basiraako cha bhane it will clean all the things of the output now input statement executed yahan message likheko cha give a number same message will get give a number question mark means it will be active and it will read out you will understand automatically my program is asking a number to be suppose you have given 4 in the output window you have given 4 then 4 will be the value of a automatically of a ko value four by value that we have given from the key what is the concept how the number is okay so q number like q number like we have to multiply again and again how many times 10 times so that is today or not we have written because we are going to execute the same set of statement again and again multiple times so that for i equal to i told you what is i i is the counter what is equal to it is the assignment operator what is one it is the starting value what is two two is the cloud and what is the ten it is the last value this all together are known as the condition first it will check the condition here written one less than one less than ten this condition is true and when the condition is true it comes in the body of for next loop for next ko body function this statement will be executed let r equal to a into i the a ko value is kya tha 4 4 into i i ko value bancha 4 into 1 equal to 4 so this 4 becomes the value of r r ko value kya tha 4 now this print statement is executed when it ka pura aur dhyan dena us when the print statement is executed it start execution from left to right so print a a ko value kya tha 4 Yes, but see semicolon. It means it means in same line cursor is waiting. After that, double quotes mark. Here goes a star. This becomes the message. Again, semicolon. It means in same line i i double quotes mark. Say na the i to value i to value kya sir one. It will display one. Here is semicolon. Same line ma. It will keep one gap one space and double quotes mark. It is written equal to. It will be equal to. Then same, same again semicolon. It means in same line R. What is the value of R? Four. That is printed four in the output window. No semicolon. So cursor comes in the next row. Our head knows next I. I told you next I. What means that I is increases by one itself. Here next that's the row number one. Next one add one. Next one add one in the same way. In this way, it will increase i by one. I equal to i plus one. So that the value of value of i is one. The so one plus one equal to two. Now the value of i becomes two. Now it goes to check condition here. Of i ke value one rahe na, it will be it will it will it becomes two. Again the condition will check two less than ten. This condition is true. Again comes in the body of loop. Again the same statement will be executed. Let r equal to a into one. The a ke value the pore sa. A को वैल्यू पढ़े था, इट इस पूर्व में लिस्ट, बट आई बिकम्स टू द फोर इनटू टू इक्वल टू एट। नाउ एट बिकम्स द वैल्यू आर। प्रिंट स्टेटमेंट इस गोइंग टू बी एक्सीक्यूटेड। प्रिंट ए सेम थिंग इट पुलिस पे ए को वैल्यू तो फोर ही था। एंड स्टार दैट इस मल्टीप्लिकेशन। आई आई को वैल्यू इट � Like that, student. Next, i i equal to i plus one. The value of i is two. Two plus one equal to three. Now the value of i becomes two. It goes to check condition again. Up 
i, i becomes 3 now. 3 less than 10. This condition is true. Again comes, again the statement is executed. r equal to 18 to i. The 8 value is the 4 is r. The i becomes 3. The 4 into 3 equal to 12. Value of r becomes, it becomes the value of r. Print the statement executed print a. A the value 4. This way, in the same way, star i, i becomes 3 now, equal to r, value of r becomes 12. Mm -hmm. Like that is today, next i, i equal to i plus 1. Like that for 4, like that for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. When it becomes 10, now let us see last time, when it becomes 10, again the condition is true, that a into i, a to i is the producer, the i becomes 10, that is 14. It prints 40, print A, the A will be 4, then it becomes I becomes 10, the result will be 40. Now, last time you know, next I, I equal to I plus 1, the I will be 10, 10 plus 1 equal to 11, of I will be 11 here. It goes to check condition up, here is today, 11 less than 10, no. 11 equal to 10, no. Now, condition is false, and when the condition is false, for that he next samama puni puni statement execute ho dai na. But even then, cursor comes at the bottom of next i, at the bottom of next i, at the bottom of next i, in this statement is there, which is a stop and turn me to the end. What have you seen? What have you seen? This looping statement, kina ham ni use kare ko? Ki kaam kiyo? I told you according to definition, the looping statement is used to execute the same set of statement again and again. Multiple times, what it is doing? This statement, let a statement and print a statement is going to be executed 10 times because of the for loop. Because of the for loop. Right, this Our, suppose you can tell me, sir, how to write the same program? How to write the same program by the help of? Why do I do? Why do I do? You can write very easily according to syntax. How to write by do loop? According to syntax, you will try yourself. Right? Now, our student, our co, one very simple program we have written. One more very simple program write on. Write question. Question write on. Question number two. Write the program. to display to display the factorial value of given number factorial value of given number now what is the concept of factorial handinos Concept of factorial, the student, it is the sign of factorial. Suppose you are going to calculate a factorial of 4. So 4 ko factorial calculate garna ko lagi. Multiply 4 in descending order up to 1. That is 4, that is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 equal to 24. So this 24 is the factorial value of 4. Suppose you are going to write 5. The 5 ko factorial value calculate garna ko lagi. Multiply 5 in descending order up to 1. That is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into what equal to 120. The 120 kids are factorial value of 5. What are, what are the numbers you are going to take? What are the number you are going to take? Multiply that number in descending order to 1 to get a factorial value. So let us see now. 1 suppose 6. The 6 into 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 equal to 720. Our key logic is the Yota number limit. And we have to multiply that number in descending order up to 1. The Yoti number line you have to multiply again and again. Again, you have to write a concept of looping statement. Either for loop, while loop, or to loop. Correct this today? Because see, I am going to write this concept, this logic. Give a number from keyboard. Suppose A. Factorial 
equal to 1. For i equal to 1, 2, a. Let fat equal to fat into i. Next i print factorial value of given number equal to that. I told you, student, one again has many solutions. You know, the logic we have to write here, we can write many solutions of the same problem. Let us see first, try to understand the first method to calculate the factorial of given number. I am going to explain this today. Let us see now. Suppose, this CLS, this program is executed by pressing the FIT and you know very well, First, CLS command executed, it removes all the things of the output pool. Input statement, we have written in the double quotes, give a number from the keyboard. Same message it will display, give a number from the keyboard. Suppose you have given 4. So this 4 becomes the value of A. Now, written let fact equal to 1. How will the fact equal to 1 here? Because we have a calculator fact to real value. Fact what you have variables are. It is a kind of variable and we have taken fact equal to 1. Our open it in a circle, but you are suggested always declare the name of variable according to the nature of work. So that fact equal to 1. Our for i equal to 1 to a, what I have told you, what are the number you are going to take? Multiply that number in descending order up to 1. So that for i equal to 1 to a. So you have 1, 1 less than equal to a, a equal to 4. The one less than four is true. You know very well, condition true, it comes in the body of for next loop, here fact equal to here fact equal to fact into i. The first time fact equal to this are one and i equal to this are one, the one into one equal to one. Second time next i i equal to i plus one. The value of i is one, that becomes two. Again, check the condition of looping statement. Again, 2 less than 4. Yes, condition is true. Again, comes in the body of looping statement. Fact equal to fact into i. The fact equal to 1 is r. The i becomes 2. The 1 into 2 equal to 2. Like that, student. Next, i. i equal to i plus 1. The i equal to 2 char. The 2 plus 1 equal to 3. It goes to check condition up again. 3 less than 4. Yes, condition is true. Very often, same statement will be executed. Fact equal to fact into i. The fact value 2 char, the i to value 3. That is 6. 6 becomes the value of fact. Like that, student, next i. i equal to i plus 1. 3 plus 1 equal to 4. 4 equal to 4. Yes. Again comes, again same statement executed. Fact equal to fact into i. The fact to value 6 are, but the value of i becomes 4, that is 6 into 4 equal to 24. Now see is going, next i, i equal to i plus 1, the i value 4 sir, 4 plus 1 equal to 5. 5 less than 4, no condition is false. 5 equal to 4, no condition is false. Both the statements are false, now the condition of for loop is false, that it will not execute the statement between the for and next loop. It comes down, it comes down at the bottom of next i. This print statement now executed. Message you have written factorial value of given number, then factorial value of given number equal to fact. Factorial value comes up 24, it will display it will display 24, and in the statement is here that is the stop and turn me. The core of factorial 24 is not the Such a way, we can take any number, any number, it will calculate a factorial of that. Our student, you can say, it's called a copper in that I told you, 
you can find the solution of a problem. How many minds? You can try and you can find the solution of the problem in your own way. You can make your own logic. You can make your own solution. But if you have what the logic I have written, that is only the solution. And how many solutions are there? Three minutes. So, you have to think about it. अगर तीन चाहें जो, अगर तीन चाहें जो, और को पनी लाओ जितना लेकिन अब आज तो कुल ये तीन मात्रे हम लोग ऑपरेटर बात कर सीखना लाइक है जा, टाइम सकियो, थैंक यू वेरी मच, अगाडी, दिस कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट आई हैव ऑलरेडी टाउट इन क्लास नाइन, इट इज गोइंग टू बी रिपीटेड बिकॉज़ इट इज अब्सर्ट टॉपिक � Right? You devise them and gradually you can practice and make a fair copy and gradually I will complete the control statement very soon. Next day I will discuss next topic. Thank you very much.